Troy Buswell has been fined and banned from driving after crashing into cars on the way home from a wedding. The former treasurer didn't have to show up in court. There was no explanation from him. He was never questioned by police and was never breath tested. Troy Buswell has been maintaining a low profile. Police haven't even heard from him. Today his lawyer arrived but her client was a no-show. Will Mr Buswell appear today? There is no comment to me. Will he be fighting the charges? Laura Willocks represented Lloyd Rainey during his trial, but today she didn't need to front the magistrate for Mr Buswell. Instead, he signed an endorsed plea of guilty to all 11 charges, admitting that after driving home from a Kings Park wedding reception in the early hours of February 23rd, his car mounted a curb and roundabout on the corner of Barker Road and Olive Street in Subiaco, hitting a Telstra pole. He also sideswiped a car on Barker Road outside Ian Woolman's home. It seems very strange to me, that absolutely amazing. Three cars were damaged, costing more than $12,700. One of them belonged to a resident on Olive Street. I came out and I saw the car had been damaged. Did you hear anything that morning? Uh, I had, didn't hear anything in the morning. Troy Buswell was fined $3,100 and had his licence disqualified for 12 months. Troy Buswell didn't appear in court today and he didn't provide any explanation as to what happened here in Subiaco that morning. So the magistrate had to sentence him purely on his guilty plea. He has seven days to hand in his licence. Troy Buswell has been on leave ever since the incident. He resigned as Treasurer and Transport Minister but is due to return as the member for VAS next Tuesday. The Premier should ask him to resign from Parliament. Ebony Ferranda, Nine News. And this afternoon, Troy Buswell released a written statement in which he apologised. Josh Yerger's in Busselton tonight in the former Treasurer's electorate of VAS. Josh, you have the statement there. What else does he say? Yes, Tim, it's only a short statement, one line in fact. It reads, in relation to the events of the morning of Sunday the 23rd of February, I offer no excuses for my actions, apologise to those upon whom I have impacted and accept fully the consequences as determined by the Magistrates Court today. Now that's all there is. He didn't respond to our attempts to contact him for further comment today. He didn't even uh, appear to be at his electorate office today, though his staff did say he is doing well in terms of his mental well-being. He's back at his electorate office working full time. He's looking healthy. He's shaved that beard he has been photographed with. He also seems to have a bit of support in his community as well. Many people we spoke to today said they would be disappointed if he did end up leaving politics. Libby.